Well, hello again. I have a question. Yep. You've missed half of the videos that I've made. What do you think the most important point, point is that I've tried to make over and over and over again? What's the most important point to a relationship with Jesus Christ and his Father? Who, if we decide to be his disciple, becomes our Father too? What's the most important point? from 140 some videos or whatever how many I've made the reason why I ask this is the Spirit of God has had me um, basically watching a few videos on YouTube bits and pieces of this and that where a lot of your your um, pastors and and different men, some sincere, some not so sincere, um, they're struggling to answer questions because. They don't really know how to stretch out in faith. There's no absolutes because they don't really expect to hear a loving, living God when they pray. And that breaks my heart. So, in answer to that question I asked in the very beginning, guys, none of this matters. None of it. Not a word. Not a video. Nothing. If you cannot hear a loving living God at some point when you pray you should expect him to answer you because he will you should believe by faith that he will answer you If you don't know that it's possible to actually hear the voice of God, you need to ask for more of the Spirit until you have the trust and the understanding to know that yeah there's a still quiet voice in the inside of me that speaks to me because I have or I am the temple of God it's in the inside of me and that uh, Christ Jesus and Jehovah God are in my temple and um, I hear them if you don't not even a little bit you need to pray you need to fast you need to seek God, you need to ask Christ 
until he answers. Because you'll hear him. Otherwise, this doesn't matter. It's just another entertaining message from a crazy man who sometimes makes you laugh. Or, if you're in the other crowd, um, I am of the devil because I tell people to examine their hearts and make sure that there's nothing bad in there. Depends on which which crowd you're in, actually. And to be honest, neither one matter. Because if you don't have a relationship that permits you to hear from a loving, living God, something's wrong. Something's wrong. God said that he was going to raise up a people that would worship him in spirit and in truth. Christ Jesus said this again when he talked to the Samaritan woman. Neither in Jerusalem nor in this mountain will they worship me. But there'll come a day when they'll worship me in spirit and in truth. In other words, they'll hear him on the inside of them and they'll know what will they know please encourage people to cultivate a relationship that allows them to speak with a loving, living God. It's pretty important. Okay, guys. May God richly bless each and every one of you.